Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Erno Laszlo AHA Resurfacing Sleep Serum. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome all of those who are new to my channel. My name is Nadia, I am a licensed esthetician and I love to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. We are reviewing the Erno Laszlo AHA Resurfacing Sleep Serum. This is an overnight serum developed to resurface dull skin and also to help even your skin tone. It claims to have the power of a chemical peel in the form of an overnight serum. You can find this serum at a number of retailers, including but not limited to Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom's, Derm Store, Saks, Fifth Avenue, and ErnoLazlo.com. This does retail for $100 and you do get one ounce. Let's chat about some ingredients. Within this formula, we do have glycolic acid. It is the second ingredient in the ingredients list, making this the second most powerful ingredient within the formula. Glycolic acid is an AHA that helps to break down the bonds between cells and acts as a decreasing agent. According to Paula's Choice, glycolic acid can help shed dead skin to renew the skin surface, visibly softening the skin's texture and improving sun damage or acne scarring. We also have lactic acid. Lactic acid here is the third ingredient in the ingredients list. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. This one, however, is derived from milk and sugars. This also breaks down the bonds between cells to allow for easier exfoliation of dead cellular debris. This also hydrates the skin and prevents discoloration. Within this formula, we also see goji berry extract. This is an antioxidant rich ingredient. It's got 11 out of 12 essential minerals that offer the skin some anti-aging benefits. It will help to keep the skin plump, radiant, and youthful. A wild plump harvest AF. That is the ingredient name. This contains a number of Australian super fruits such as Kakadu plum, Illawarra plum, and Budekin plum. I hope I pronounced those correctly. Together with the exfoliating acid, these super fruits will reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation while also boosting your skin's luminosity. We also have hexan oil, dipeptide 3. This is a great synthetic peptide that helps the skin surface shed properly. It also accelerates skin's renewal for fresher, more vibrant looking skin. This is the ninth ingredient in the ingredients list. Now let's chat about my experience with this serum. Um, I started using this on February 25th. My first impressions consisted of a generalized tingle, no burning, when applied on dry skin. Um, it was not sticky and it applied very, very easily over the skin. I did enjoy the dropper applicator. Um, one full dropper I found was just enough for the entirety of my face. I typically followed it with the uh, Peter Thomas Roth. Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment, and I found that it worked very well. Um, the products will, worked very well together overnight. The following morning, um, my skin woke up radiant, healthy, and luminous. At the end of the day, however, my skin did feel tight, and I did notice some kind of flakiness um, at the end of the evening after removing, you know, the day's face. I opted to do a hydrating routine that evening. On March 3rd, I noticed a general tingle 
Um, and a slight scent. Um, there is no added fragrance within this uh, formula. Um, and I found the scent to remind me of like kindergarten or like maybe kindergarten glue. What? Um, let me try it again. Yeah, it really does. It, you know, if you put it like this close to your face, you can, you can smell it, but otherwise you don't smell anything. It just kind of smells like, like my kindergarten class for some reason. On March 6th, I continue to feel a tingle throughout the entire face. Uh, my skin overall appeared brighter, more clarified, and even and more even toned. And I think that has a lot to do with me pairing these two products together. So an alpha hydroxy uh, based serum with kind of a nice nice niacinamide or some sort of brightening. Uh, product. Um, the texture of course was a lot smoother and now that I had been using the product for over 10 days my skin did not feel as tight or dry as it did um, the day after my first time using the serum. Um, it was starting to become acclimated to the products I believe um, as I was still using retinol and implementing a hydrating routine kind of throughout. Uh, these products. On March 19th, I noticed a lot less of a tingle and I felt the tingle more around the forehead area. I typically feel tingles here along the laugh lines, but this time I felt it more along the forehead. Um, the serum again continued to work very well with the Peter Thomas Roth product and the Vital E moisturizer. Today, my skin woke up smoother. Um, my stress has been really, really high as I imagine um, everybody's stress levels are, are high. Um, well, not everybody's, but you know, some of us. Some of us are very stressed out right now. Um, so I, I do have a number of stress related breakouts happening along the skin um, and it has taken them a long time to heal because I haven't been using um, spot treatments. What have I used before um, and are there any other products in my collection that are similar to this? I have used a number of glycolic acid-based serums before. Before I started using the Erno Laszlo AHA Resurfacing Sleep Serum, I was using the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Overnight Serum and I was feeling no tingle with that whatsoever. I did, however, feel a tingle when I first introduced that product into my routine. Um, and then I've also used Honeymoon Glow, uh, which is my go-to before my monthly comes to town as it does help to manage those hormonal breakouts that I have maybe one or two. Right now I am really breaking out. I think I have like a couple of blemishes here and then two right over here where my hair is covering. So yeah, I have to say that maybe this serum ranks somewhere in between TLC and Honeymoon Glow. It's definitely not like my number one, but it has definitely helped to resurface uh, my skin, my stress-related breakouts, like I mentioned, have not healed any faster, um, but it did increase my skin's luminosity and it also improved my skin's texture. Um, I have definitely enjoyed using this and I've also loved introducing a new glycolic acid serum into my routine. What have been your overall results? Um, I've noticed brighter, smoother skin, and I really like how my forehead is looking with this serum. Does this play well with others? I have used this primarily with other Peter Thomas Roth products and Drunk Elephant products, and I have found that it works very well uh, with those other ranges. Um, I haven't used this throughout the day as this is a nighttime serum. Um, if used at night, does this pair well with any other oils or moisturizers? Um, I did not use this with an oil. Um, I did pair this with the Peter Thomas Roth Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment 
Uh, when I did pair uh, these two together alone, it did cause a little bit of dryness and a little bit of flakiness. But once I threw this little guy into the mix, it kind of resolved that dryness, that tightness, and that flakiness that I was starting to feel. When I paired these products with Vital E, my skin was more balanced. My favorite way to use this is, of course, nighttime use. Um, and I, I think I, I love using it with these two products. I am going to use this with um, some Erno Laszlo moisturizers, which I do have, and then I will update my review for you down below. So make sure you click on that before you X out of this video in case, you know, there's any changes about like my preference. I also want to say that I did pair this with Proteini and I enjoyed that pairing as well. Um, I think that going forward um, in warmer spring months, that is going to be the way I use this product. I would recommend this product to anyone struggling with dull textured skin. I feel like this would be a good investment for you. If you have tried any of the uh, other two products that I have mentioned, um, this will probably give your skin more of that tingle and just help to resurface as well. Uh, pros for me, I love that Erno Laszlo is cruelty free. I also love the acids within this formula. They're pretty standard, um, but I do love a good glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acid based serum. Um, I am particularly in intrigued by the hexanoil dipeptide 3 which Erno is calling Perfection Peptide P3. This helps the skin's surface shed properly. It also accelerates the skin's renewal for fresher, more vibrant looking skin. I also love its lightweight texture. Um, and I love the method of application here where you just kind of press on this and you know, remove the top and then your dropper is full. And one dropper is just enough for one application. My con here is the price point. Um, TLC Framboos retails for 90. Honeymoon Glow retails for 58 and this retails for a hundred dollars. What I'm assuming um, puts it up a little uh, in price is the peptide here um, and it also has a very very good ingredients deck I didn't see any like drying alcohols in the formula um, so I am rating this an 8.5 out of 10 uh, this product has an excellent ingredients list there is no fragrance and no animal testing and I do love the fact that this is free of any drying alcohols um, like I mentioned I do have an issue with the price point but I have enjoyed the smoother texture um, on my skin despite my stress breakouts of course that is all I have for you I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I hope that you are all staying safe out there. Make sure you're staying indoors and following um, any guidelines uh, your local authorities have implemented over your city. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like the video if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye is what she looks like. Take two. Sorry if I look a little sleepy. I haven't had lunch. <laughs>